Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a DNS server solution on Windows Server 2019 running on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed and pre-configured DNS server solution. So from this product page, simply click on get it now. And after that, simply click on continue. And then you would be brought to this detail page from where you need to click on create. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. And then give yourself or give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as DNS. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. After that, simply pass in the credentials for the administrator account which we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Once that is done, simply click on review plus create. After this, you need to wait for the validation process to complete. And once the validation process is done, simply click on create to actually create this virtual machine. At this point, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose RDP. After that, simply click on download RDP file and once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to launch this remote desktop connection prompt. So on this prompt, simply click on connect and then it is going to ask you for your credentials. You need to click on more choices, use a different account and then you're going to provide in the administrator credentials that you have created while creating this virtual machine. Once that is done, simply hit OK and then you would be prompted once more that you're trying to connect to a remote host. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. After that, you simply need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. When the Windows Server has completely loaded, it is going to automatically open up this Server Manager application. If this does not open up, you can simply hit Windows and search for Server Manager. Anyways, inside this Server Manager, what you want to do is that you want to start configuring your DNS. For that, simply click on Tools and then choose DNS. Now, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to create a forward lookup zone. So, click on your virtual machine's name. Remember this DNS, this one is my virtual machine's name. So what I want to do is that I want to click on this tiny arrowhead icon and then right click on this forward lookup zone and then click on new zone. Now this is going to allow us to create a new DNS forward lookup zone. So I'm just going to go with the primary zone and for the zone name I'm just going to type it as cis.com and then I'm going to create a new file for the DNS and if you are running an Active Directory, then you can go with allow only secure dynamic updates. But since I'm not running an Active Directory, I'm going to go with do not allow dynamic updates. Just simply click on next and then simply click on finish to establish this zone. Now to verify that this zone has been created, simply click on this arrowhead icon and then you can see that our zone cis.com has been created. Now if I want to create a new host or maybe a new alias within this zone, I need to simply right click on it and choose what I want, whether I want a new host, a new alias or a new mail exchanger. Anyways, I'm just going to go with new host. So simply type in the name of that host, let's just go with support.cis.com and then you're going to type in the IP address of this host. So let's just go with 172.16.1.10. Once you're done providing the IP address, a valid IP address, then simply click on add host. So it shows you that the host record support.cis.com was successfully created. And just like that, you can add multiple hosts within your zone. And that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Windows DNS Server solution on Windows Server 2019. And also for the marketplace listing for Azure. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.